Hello friends, how are you doing today? I am so excited because it is church day and church day is the best day. I can't wait for all the fun we're gonna have. So let's get started by playing a game. Today, we will be playing a game called Let's Get Wild. Here's how to play. There will be different animals appearing on the screen and we're gonna pretend like we're those animals. For example, if you see a bird, then you can flap your arms or tweet like a bird does. Are you ready to play? Awesome, here we go. Let's pretend to be a tiger. Now we're gonna be squirrels. Let's pretend to be a kangaroo. Now we're gonna be a horse. That game was so much fun. I can't wait to learn our lesson today. So let's take a look at our memory verse. Hi boys and girls, are you ready to learn our memory verse? It's found in Galatians 5.22 and it says, fruit comes from having the Holy Spirit in our lives. So let's stand to our feet so we can learn this together. Are you ready? Awesome. When we say fruit, we can hold out our hands like we are holding something like this. Can you all do that? Great job. Next, when we say comes from having, we'll pull our hands closer to us. Can you practice that? Awesome job. And when we say the Holy Spirit, we can point up with both fingers. Let's see you do that. Great job. Now last, when we say in our lives, we will point to ourselves with our thumbs like this. Good job. Okay, now let's do it all together. I'll say it first, and then you repeat after me when you're doing the motions. Are you ready? Fruit comes from having the Holy Spirit in our lives. Galatians 5.22. That was amazing. Now, let's say it again. Are you ready? Awesome. Fruit comes from having the Holy Spirit in our lives. Galatians 5.22. Great job. Now let's say it one more time, but this time let's say it as quiet as possible. Are you ready? Here we go. Fruit comes from having the Holy Spirit in our lives. Galatians 5, 22. Wow, you guys were super quiet. You did a great job. Now stay standing on your feet because it is time to declare the word of God. We declare God's word because it is... That's right, it is powerful. Let's declare it as loud as we can in one, two, three, four. That was awesome. It was so good to declare God's word over our lives. Stay standing with me. Let's get ready for worship.
distance or darkness, you're with me, you're with me. Whenever I'm failing or falling, you've got me, you've got me. It is so good to see you today. And speaking of good things, we're actually talking about the fruit of the spirit of goodness today. Goodness is... Oh, 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 Miss, Miss Amy, I know all about goodness. You know, my mom says I am very good at soccer. The best, actually. I'm better than anyone I know. Goodness is all about being good at things. Whoa, whoa there, Sam. Goodness is not about being good at soccer. Of course it is. I even have trophies. Look. Oh, wow. Um, Sam, goodness has nothing to do with talents or skills. Oh. What are we talking about being good? Like, following the rules? Well, following the rules is important. But that's not what goodness is either. Goodness, which is a fruit of the Holy Spirit, is doing good to others. Goodness is kindness in action. You know what? In the Bible it says, Acts 10, 38, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, he went around doing good and healing everyone. Wow! So, because the Holy Spirit is in our heart, we can do good to others like Jesus did? Yes. In fact, that's our main point for today. The Holy Spirit gives me goodness. You know, we can say it like this. The Holy Spirit gives me goodness. You know, let's say it all together. Are you ready? The, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit gives, gives me goodness. goodness. 
Great job, everyone. Oh, Miss Amy, what does goodness look like? Well, Sam, since goodness is kindness in action, goodness looks like doing good to others out of the love in our hearts. This can be giving some of your toys away to kids who might not have any. What about helping your family clean the dishes after dinner or praying for someone who is sick? <laughs> Those are great, Sam. And when we do good to others, it shows them God's goodness, since goodness comes from God. In Matthew 5, 16, the Bible talks about shining our light so others can see the good things we do and glorify God. I have an idea. Let's look at it this way. So I have this flashlight and this flashlight is like us. When we have Jesus in our hearts, we have his light in us. Kind of like how this flashlight is a light. Now, a flashlight won't turn on by itself. Someone has to turn it on in order for the light to shine. It's the same way with us. We all have his light inside us and the way we show it or turn it on is by doing good to others. So when we do good, people can see Jesus' light inside us? That is so cool! I, I am so happy that the Holy Spirit gives us goodness. That's right, Sam. Let's say our main point together one more time so we can remember it. Ready? The, the Holy Spirit, Spirit gives me goodness. goodness. I am going to clean the kitchen right when I get home so I can show goodness to my mom after eating a small snack, of course. Of course. I bet your mom would love that, Sam. Friends, we can show the world how good our God is when we show goodness to others. Our God is so good and only has good things for us, like the fruit he gives us. Let's pray and thank God for the goodness he gives us. Dear God, thank you for your goodness. Please help us to shine our light by doing good so others can see how good you are. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. It was so fun having church with you today. I can't wait to learn more about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We love you and we hope you have an amazing week.